Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and this is a quick follow-up video of probably one of my more popular videos that I've done on my channel, and that's a review on this B-Pack 14 portable air conditioner from Black & Decker. I'll link into the top corner here of the original video where I went through everything, I took it apart, show the inside, and also I added a secondary hose so that it draws air from the outside to cool off the condenser coils. And this has been going on nice and strong, no problems at all. There was a question that was asked, and I actually had to go and research it myself, even to the point of actually peeking back inside here off camera. And the question that was asked is, when this is set to dehumidifier mode, is it more efficient to use two hoses, or would it not dehumidify at all since we added that second hose? In order to answer that question, we need to first understand how a dehumidifier works. Here we are down in my basement and I have this dehumidifier going for the basement so it's not too musty down here during the summer. And basically it's the it's an air conditioning, but it's working in a slightly different way than an air conditioning you would traditionally find in a window unit or the portable unit upstairs. We have the evaporator coils that get cold and then we have the condenser coils that get hot. And what the only difference with the dehumidifier is that the dehumidifier is going to pull the humid air over its evaporator coils which get cold you're going to get all that condensation it's going to drop it into a tank or in this case in the one upstairs it will go and evacuate it out the exhaust hose but we don't want all that cold air that an air conditioning would create going back into your room so then we're going to pass that very dry air over the condenser coils which are hot it'll heat it back up and then it will dump it back out into your room and it completes the loop. That's how a traditional dehumidifier works. Now with this BPAC 14 machine, now I don't have the heat option with this particular model. This is a 2020 model, so it just has the dehumidify and air conditioning fu functions there. But with the dehumidifier function, this skips one important step of dehumidification. We're going to go and take the humid air from the room, pull it over the back of the evaporator coils, it's going to get dried out, you're going to get rid of all the condensation, it goes out the hose, but it skips the one important step and that it's not going to redirect the air that would normally come out the front here down through the condenser coils which are hot and then it would be spitting it back out the exhaust hose. So it is, it is still dehumidifying but you are not getting the heating function of the condenser coils basically. You are getting very cold air just like you would on air conditioning mode but the fan is locked on low speed so eventually if you're running this on dehumidify your room's going to go down by a few degrees but you will have less humidity in your room now as far as i know all of these portable air conditionings are built the same exact way for cost saving measures because if you think about how they're how they're built if they have the single hose that single hose is going to carry out all the hot air from the condenser coils and also the humidity though that's dripping from the evaporator coils over the hot condenser coils it's re-evaporating but going out that exhaust hose if we wanted a true dehumidifier where we're going to take and reroute that cold dry air from this evaporator in the front here internally over its condenser coils well we would want to have that dry but warmer air from going over the condenser coils back into the room but they're not built that way it's going to send it right back out the window and it doesn't matter if you had a single or a dual hose it's just not going to do what a traditional dehumidifier does not the worst thing in the world but it's not a true dehumidifier in the traditional sense but it's still gets the job done you're just going to probably get your room a little bit cooler which again in the heat of the summer it's not the worst thing in the world but there is a difference well guys i'm going to end the video here i will be installing this a little bit more semi-permanently this is the spare bedroom where we kind of hang out and got a stuff for the dogs and whatnot but i'll probably put this up on a pedestal and i want to shorten these hoses as much as i can less kinks i have read those comments from the previous video and i will take them to heart uh, but I just got to find a stand where I can get this unit up just a little bit higher and everything else I did all of the insulation there So it's nice and sealed up ready to go. I've been running this on dehumidifier It has made the room a little bit cooler, but it's also far more comfortable Today's weather is about 86 degrees Fahrenheit and about 57 percent relative humidity So it's a little wet a little humid not terrible, but 
we're supposed to get more humid weather in the coming week, so this is going to come in real handy, especially if we're not running the central air system. We're just going to be hanging out in here most of the time with the dogs, you know, watching TV and whatnot during the summer. But hey, great unit. And I also use the unit when I'm in my garage, if I'm working on small engines, of course. And during the heat of the summer, this thing really does come in handy. But uh, right now, it's up here trying to uh, stay cool and beat the heat. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next project.